All right, how we doing there today? Uh, so today, let me see here, 25 January. I got 8.13 in the morning. I've been up probably since about 5.30, something like that, all right? Over here, just getting it. I'm over here on the interstate headed back home in Las Vegas, uh, taking people to the airport from the hotels and all that, all right? I don't know if you can see behind me the hotels. You may not see it that well, but uh, I'll get around maybe to do a, a video about that. Uh, talk about that briefly, uh, what I do. But anyway, so I wanted to get around to talk about uh, Hank Aaron and also uh, Larry King. And rest in peace to both, both of these uh, gentlemen, the distinguished gentlemen. Uh, Hank Aaron was 86 and... Larry King was 87. Yeah. Uh, we've had some very prolific uh, deaths here. Uh, at the beginning of the year, well, last year, man, that was real bad. But this year, yeah, there's going to be more to come. We lost uh, actually a couple guys here. Number uh, Sheldon and Al Adelson. He had owned uh, different properties like the Venetian. That's if you guys... Uh, been to Las Vegas and all that, and then we lost another guy named Seaford, Seaford and Roy. Uh, just so you know, they were uh, they had a, a lion show out here. Uh, one of the guys got, had an incident; they had to, to stop the show. But let's get to Hank Aaron. So yeah, that they call him the Hammer and Hank. Um, had 755 home runs, and I think he had that. Uh, he had that record probably for about four, uh, almost 40 years before it was broken by Barry Bonds. Okay, uh, I can remember back in the day he was basically like a like a hero. All right, for people that look like me, uh, maybe I remember doing I don't know uh, talking about him during a book report or uh, maybe uh, you know when you go in front of class and, and, and speak in front of class and. What you learned and all that uh, about a, a certain uh, figure. So yeah, and then he, after that, he, you know, he did uh, continue to do humanitarian work and that type of stuff. So he lived a long life, 86 years old. All right, pretty fruitful life there. Okay, all I would like to say, and I'm not trying to say it's because of this incident, but it came to my understanding that 17 days. 17, uh, 17 days before his death, he took the vaccine. And again, I'm not saying that he died because of the vaccine. I'm not saying that. Okay? But I, he, it's to my understanding he wanted to take that vaccine, uh, I guess, in, in, in part to help uh, boost the confidence in older people, number one. Uh, the citizens, uh, people, you know, the upper, you know, senior citizens in the upper age, and then also, you know, uh, help boost uh, confidence in the black community. Now, that I know, okay? Now, you guys can take that the way you want to take it, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but rest in peace to the guy, all right, that uh, I think that he's done a good job contributing to society okay uh, I know he had to go through a lot of adversity uh, in his younger day you know playing in the in the major league uh, baseball back in the, what probably the 60s and 50, uh, late 50s and all that okay helping pave the ways for a lot of the guys now okay um, may the most high uh, grant you a better place sir now uh, Larry King. Uh, I don't know, have much information about him other, uh, other than you guys know that he was on CNN News. I used to watch that show whenever I, I could, late night, all right? You know, he was known for the suspenders and, and the bow tie and all that. All right, very classy gentleman, okay? Uh, yeah, he had all kinds of celebrities on the show and all that, and I believe that that probably uh, put CNN uh, where it is now, okay, uh, as far as an effort, as efforts. Um, 
I do know that he, from my understanding, he smoked. Uh, he had a couple of heart attacks and, you know, he survived, was able to live 87 years old. Um, it's my understanding that he uh, had some COVID uh, symptoms. I didn't say that he died from it, but I believe that he was uh, hospitalized. And I don't know if the COVID uh, symptoms had to do with it. Maybe they found out uh, after the fact or whatever. Okay, but he did have some, uh, you know, exposed to it, to say the least. And um, again, he's dead now, 87. So um, uh, whether, I don't know if, if COVID or uh, whatever uh, played a uh, part in what, all right, that the guys pretty much have lived a very, very, very fruitful life. And I guess it's when you, it's when you, it's your time, it's your time. It is what it is. So maybe it's just one of those things where for me, you know, I'm 49 and uh, it's probably just some encouragement to keep myself healthy, healthy. And, you know, I want to play a part to uh, also um, to tell people to, to try to stay healthy, um, you know, eat right, to, uh, things, stay away from things like sugar and, you know, processed uh, slash fried foods and that type of stuff, you know, smoking and all that. All right, because that does uh, cause like a pre-existing condition like diabetes or high blood pressure. And the COVID does uh, like to thrive off that type of stuff. Excuse me. So that's what I wanted to speak about. Um, I got some things to talk about. It was been rather busy here last week. So yeah, I'm gonna get to some other subjects and I'm gonna be trying to roll them out. But if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Be nice if I could build up, up some subscribers and uh, leave your comments and shares and tell all the folks about this channel and check out some of the other videos. All right, y'all have a wonderful uh, day.